Yes, Ayana, why are we here today? Um, we are here at Mudador, my favorite ever art supply shop. And uh, I'm gonna go and buy some things that I need for drawing and for making stuff and to stock up on things that I um, always buy just because we're not gonna be in Berlin for much longer. I always use this ink, Windsor Newton, just in black color. I had this one already, I had this one already. Um, maybe for Christmas time this one. Yeah, I like it. These are really cheap and nice paper. I'm gonna take one. They have all sorts of this envelope and packagings and I always use these A5 and A4 for sending off my commissions and they're great. They have all sorts of crazy materials and then you can just cut it here um, as much as you want. And here they have a, like a laser cut service and like a fancy printing shop. Okay. Hello. So upstairs they have all this paper for drawing and painting. I use this one all the time. A5 and A4. I always check. They have frames. All sorts of paints and sketchbooks. They even have some fabric stuff. And there's a furniture shop in here. I really like these. I had one of these for packing my Easter crochet commissions to make like little nests for chickens. So nice. Yes. Today I'm going to show you what I got at Modular yesterday. Um, let's start with this paper. I always buy this same paper. It's great quality. It's um, uh, thick and uh, not too textured, so it's good for watercolors as well as just ink drawings, uh, which I then scan and color digitally. So. I just buy the same thing all the time. Uh, this string to use for hanging Christmas decorations. Um, I'm planning on crocheting some uh, Christmas tree ornaments, so I'm gonna use this to hang them. 
and I got um, this little pouch. I have many of these um, to use as like pencil cases and little pouches to organize things. This one I'm gonna have for my SD cards and camera batteries and stuff. Also for camera stuff, I'm gonna have this little crate to keep um, all my cables and the tripod and stuff inside. It comes folded and then you just put it together. Like this. I have so many of these already in so many colors and um, I just love them for organizing stuff. And a little sketchbook. It's um, just a really small, not too many papers, um, but it was it was only one euro fifty, and it's really nice, good quality paper, so it's always good to have. And then I got this tape, which I opened already, to um, seal my um, envelopes with commissions. And I got ink. I really like these drawings that they have on the packaging. And then I got two pencils and two brushes. Um, these really thin brushes I use for inking my illustrations and they go bad quite fast. So I got two new ones. And then a B and two B pencil, which are my favorite kind of pencils to just sketch things with. Okay, that's all. And at Uniqlo I got this buffer jacket that you saw in the video. And I got these blue gloves. Now I'm going to draw something using the materials that I bought yesterday at Modular. I'm going to draw CB and me shopping at Modular with Eddie, of course. A fresh brush from yesterday. Oh, it's actually a bit thicker than I thought. Ah! So I told you we're gonna be moving, but I never said where. And um, we're going to Munich for six months to one year, we said. Um, Sibi got a job, so we're going there for a little while. And I'm quite excited, I'm really excited actually. Um, it's gonna be nice to go there a little bit being the new city for the winter and then I mean actually maybe all the seasons um, I'm excited to, to explore to being the new environment there's gonna be a ton of new things to draw there's gonna be more nature more to do outdoors I was a little worried in the beginning because here in Berlin it's a bit easier to get by as a non-German speaking person and I've been here for three years now and still I know some German some German but I'm not fluent <laughs> far from that and um, I was a little worried how I'm gonna get like a side job and things like that but um, I've decided now I'm also going to use this time to learn German, to really push myself and get ahead because that's all I need really. I have the basic knowledge but to progress from there, from there on I really just need to, you know, find a, find a way to keep myself practicing I have a ton of kids um, German books that I buy for illustrations but then I just keep them there for one day to read them all and um, I think I'm now really going to be good and do that. So yeah we're going for a little while but then we are planning to come back unless we both like it there better and then when we come back we're gonna move to a new area in Berlin which is also gonna be exciting yeah if you know Munich 
please um, write me any suggestions of any nice places I should go and draw or just like anything really um, nice cafes, nice shops, nice museums outdoor places it's gonna be fun I'm waiting for this drawing to dry now to continue and now I can show you the update of these guys so in the last video you saw me crochet the bunny and the raccoon and the otter is new hi it's supposed to be an otter but maybe it's a chipmunk and there's some suspicious activity down on the street. I'll take the drawing to Photoshop now. And I'll remove the background. And there it is, a transparent drawing, which I'm going to send myself on iPad and color it there. I'm just going to make a new layer and start coloring Sibi and me and Eddie I'm gonna use this drawing in maybe a thumbnail also what I like to do as a starting out illustrator I've done this a lot during the past two years since I started drawing like this I, um, I like to draw brands or shops that I really like and then put them on Instagram and tag them and sometimes people are really happy <laughs> to see their businesses drawn and sometimes they even share them so it's you know it's also promotion <laughs> which I am not saying no to at this point it's always good Here's the final drawing. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you to see properly, but most likely you've seen it on a thumbnail already. Um, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the trip to Modular and uh, that you enjoyed the hole and the drawing part as well. And um, see you next Sunday.